What do you think you got to do to close that gap on Gatlin? <laughs> A lot, man. Welcome back to Run Junkie, this time from Switzerland. Check it out, Switzerland. Got the beautiful background. Check it out, you got Luzerne right there on the track. Boom, we're in Switzerland, getting ready for the Luzerne. I don't know how to say the full name of the meet, but, cause it's in Switzerland language. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's let's recap what's happened in the track and field. Starting with Lenano, Lin we saw Eric Jenkins run 741, so smooth. Comes back a couple days later, runs a 338.15. His Houston 5K, which goes on later this week, is gonna be something special to witness because Eric Jenkins right now is on fire. Also on fire is Carrie Gallagher because she's on fire because she's going to Beijing. She runs 403 with dominating win over a great field in Lignano, proving that she deserves to be in Beijing and she's gonna be there and she's gonna be someone to reckon with. Flash forward, let's keep on going. Lazan, Mo Farah, oh my goodness, he just laid down a kick of the of the of the week. Well, I guess it's the week, yeah. A kick of the week, running 54, closing on that incredible field, proving that he's the man not only to beat in the 10K, he is the man to beat in that 5K come Beijing. Mo Farah looking smooth as ever. So and that final world team spot in the 1500 meters is still up for grab on the women's side as Lauren Johnson and Rachel Schneider went for the World A standard, did not get it in Korczyk, Belgium. They're gonna have to attempt again because whoever gets it between the two of them moves on. Also moving on, let's talk about what's happening this week. Starting with Luzerne, we're in beautiful Switzerland and we got some great athletes. We got Will Lear here, we got Ben Blankenship, Andy Bayer duking it out in that 3K. The women's eight is stacked beyond stack. We got Molly Ludlow, Chanel Price, Melissa Bishop, Lauren Wallace, and, and goes on and on and on. The winners at these meets get, not only get, they don't, they don't just get prize money, they could get a diamond. That's right, they give you out a diamond if you win this race. That's how Switzerland does it. They go out with the diamonds. Shine bright like a diamond. Also on the sprint side, this meet is actually turned out to be a really Good sprint meet. We got Omar McLeod, the, the new recently turned pro from Arkansas is gonna be here. He's running sub 13 in the hurdles. Also Asafa, Asafa Powell, Johan Blake, uh, Zarnell Hughes who won the Diamond League 200 just uh, earlier this week. So the men's and women's sprints are just gonna be phenomenal here along with the distance. And then we are just days away from Monaco where we're gonna see just, you know, it's it's just gonna be a fabulous race, especially that men's 1500. Liam Manzano's gonna be trying to get that A standard. He's, he's only a point one seconds off. It's inevitable he's gonna get it in that Monaco 1500. But also one race I'm looking forward to most is that men's four by one. We're gonna see the US Team USA's official A team of Trayvon Bromel, Mike Rogers, Justin Gatlin, and Tyson Gabe. They're gonna show the world what they can do. And uh, I'm just excited to see what Trayvon Bromel can do. I mean, Trayvon Bromel putting on, you know, eventually representing that Team USA, putting him on that four by one. It's it's awesome to see this kid. He just turned he just turned 20, man. The the kid is unreal. Can't wait to see what he does in that four by one relay. But uh, yeah, that's it. You got your fix. Let's watch let's watch some track and field. Boom! Check it out. Look at this. I mean, look. That's that's Charles Jock. Walk like a man, talk like a man, walk like a man, my son. 